this is the full moon for the month of October 2019 and the full moon begins from the 15th of October until the 15th of November I want to say thank you so much for being here it is the full moon for the air sign for the Aquarian Gemini's and Librans I want to say thank you so much for returning okay as I have promised I have break down the full moon for all you signs as I have promised I have done what I have promised you guys is that I've broken I've broken down the full moon in different different aspects so what is going to be happening now ladies and gentlemen um, you can um, um, order your full moon reading um, um, with the link below and that is going to take you to where you can order your own um, on demand okay and for each on demand so as I promised um, remember I promise you guys that I am definitely definitely going to be doing um, your full moon reading per um, per zodiac sign so the Aquarians have their own um, zod uh, full moon reading and uh, it is uh, on demand and three reading when you order three reading on on demand so if you order this full moon reading for yourself if you're an Aquarius you order a full moon reading go back and order also the monthly reading and the quarterly reading and you have 15% off okay 15% off all right as I've explained to a lot of people because for the people who um, order on demand they want to have a um, they had preferred to have their full moon reading separate okay um, because they order on demand so of course I can understand that they wanted their full moon to be separate and that is exactly what I've done I've separated everything um, for you guys okay so whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring um, it's just a dollar ninety nine if you buy a single one but if you buy um, the full moon of October the October extended reading and these are all extended reading okay what I'm talking about so if you go and buy extended reading and you buy three or more it's going to be 15% off so let's say you buy October 2018 full moon reading October 2018 um, energy vibration reading October 2000 and uh, um, uh, third quarter um, it's gonna be all three readings is 15% off I have stopped doing a hour and 45 minutes reading um, this year for the extended because you guys weren't aware that I was doing that okay so um, I've changed I've changed up everything so um, you can pick that up now for the year reading um, for the people who um, choose and buy the extended on demand for the year reading um, you will get an hour for your year reading so let's say you order a year reading you order a birthday reading it's gonna be um, a year energies okay so that's gonna be it what else should I say um, uh, sorry for um, not been I think I think I'm, I'm, I'm on time there is just a lot that is happening I'm so glad you're back and I'm so I'm so happy I could um, do this for you guys to make sure um, that you have your individual readings I actually so much enjoyed if you would like to have an astro clock um, this is the full moon Oscar clock reading you can always always connect with me um, it's just six to five dollars for a personalized reading where you send me your information okay um so um let's check in remember um that your houses um and i think it, it is beautiful because it's a dollar 99 for the on demand and if you order three readings you get it for like four dollars or less okay so what is beautiful is that check this out because a lot of people are giving me feedbacks because they were all the already upload for the VIPs and the VIPs are the people who constantly order on demands okay so what happened is that um, 
they really liked it because they as uh, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra could know exactly because this is what I do I have to do the collection for the hair sign okay I have to do for all four element for the full moon that is what they want to do but when I give individual which is so beautiful which I'm gonna try and see if I can get that on track next year so you can have your extended reading it's just gonna be powerful and it's just going to be beautiful okay uh, so all right let's jump in there and see um, what exactly is happening um, Wow, it's gonna be shifting changes that is coming up. And remember, um, at the end of this video, what I'm going to do is to set what is going to be happening for the um, fire sign, the sun people, and what is happening for the moon people. Okay, so at the end of this video, go check out um, the sun sign or the moon sign to see what what else is coming up. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get in it. So it is, uh, we're calling up on Archangel Aniel, all the um, angels of the hair signs, the Aquarian, Gemini, and Libra for the full moon lesson for the month of October, November. Please come in and show us what is coming up for the air sign people. What is coming up for the air sign people. Alrighty, so... We're gonna check out all the houses, uh, your first house, second house, all the houses um, first, and then we're going to be looking at the sun sign people and then the moon sign people, okay? I'm seeing, um, wow, wonderful things are coming out. I'm seeing Elon in the fifth out of passion is coming up for you guys. I'm seeing Uranus in and the Cancers. You're dealing with the Cancers. I'm seeing the Virgos coming in in the eighth house. The ninth house, I'm seeing secrets about foreign situations and things. Saturn is here. So luck is in the 12th house. So um, that the 12th house is when you surrender and let go of something, okay? The 12 hours is when you surrender and let go of something. So um, let's check out because I always uh, um, use, I'm doing something else uh, this month. I can't. <laughs> so, so some good news is going to be coming up. Okay. Um, normally, and I think I'm going to do this, but normally I show um, what is going to affect you. And I'm seeing um, the second house, the third house. You need to protect yourself. Okay. I'm just, I, I change up stuff all the time. Okay. So don't worry. Don't be worried. Just let me know if you want the, the whole set back. Um, you see, sometimes the angels, and sometimes there are certain message and information that needs to come out. I think I just so love my deck, but it's it's so old. <laughs> oh, it's it's like um my little accent deck, but. It's a really old deck. Let's see what's coming up for you guys, all right? So we are checking out all of these houses. We are going to see what's happening. Okay, so someone out there, you flipped up. And a message is coming in for you, people between the ages of 18 and 45. So let's see what is coming in the house and I'm going to spread this out why is coming in the first house for the air sign people second house third house so fourth house air sign people fifth house air sign people six house seventh house eighth house air sign people ninth house tenth house eleventh house and twelve house for the air sign people all right 
So let's check this out. So we're first looking at the first out. What is the first out? It's all about you. It's all about the self. It's all about what is transpiring and it's what's happening. It's you. Whatever is happening about around you, 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 as the mighty I am present self. Okay. So remember, it is your thoughts, your mind everything that is happening it has to do with you your inner thinking this is the first house okay now what we have coming up here in the first out is Pluto and Pluto is coming up with a transition so people that was dreaming is no longer going to be in the state of dreaming but there is going to be a new start for you okay some of you are really and has been dreaming and hoping for a new start for quite some time and this is going to be coming in some of you could want this new start with a Pisces um, that could be coming up okay so whoever you are and whatever is transpiring because this energy that is coming up it has to do with um, um, you could want a new start with a scorpion okay so some of you um, you know I've been thinking for quite some time to have a new start with a scorpion okay and Pluto is coming to make a transition because some of you the scorpion could be leaving your life or some of you thus there is going to be a new start I can see that definitely if there was issues with your children and you were worried about that I'm seeing you healing also um, your inner child so whatever there's a transition that is going to be coming up for your inner child okay so this is good and this is positive and now we're not reading from anything but I was just looking at something so okay so we're going back and we're looking at the second house now what is your second house because you gotta know these people because this is very important for each each and every person what is in your second house your second house is where your money is your asset your house um, you know your bank account whatever you have that is assets assets is your car your house um, if you have a big bank account if you have properties and that sort of a thing and the money in the bank so that is your second house you ear sign what is in your second house for you ear sign um, the Aquarians Aquarians you need to protect your assets so you Aquarians whatever is happening it's going to affect you guys in the second house um, because you need to protect your assets now some of you Aquarians could be married um, to an um, a Sagittarius or so um, you need to protect your your assets because I'm seeing that there was a marriage for some of you um, and it's as if you're going to be protecting your assets from this Sagittarian whoever this person is okay because it's as, as if there's a divorce and you want to protect your assets maybe you're not divorced but you still want to protect your assets maybe you're going to be getting married but you still want to protect your assets so you Aquarians are having issues uh, where you need to protect your assets or someone could be protecting their assets from you okay but um, for the rest of the sign I'm seeing a new offer is going to be coming in um, for the rest of you a new offer is going to be coming in if you are looking for a job you could be also getting married um, or a new contract getting married or a new contract and always I want to know because sometimes the energy so you gotta protect um, your assets uh, and this is coming up for most of you you gotta uh, um, protect your assets from um, whoever if you're getting married you need to um, have a, um, drop a contract okay um, do it do it do it do it okay protect your assets from whoever you are getting married to okay um, let them keep their their assets and you keep your assets whatever you bill together on then you can share it okay so whatever is happening and whoever out there is getting married especially with your assets whether or not you're getting married or you're in a relationship or whatever you need to protect your assets okay especially the married people is coming up third house house of the Gemini's the perception the third house is the house of the Gemini the perception whatever the issue is whatever the situation is the third house is the house of the Gemini and you need to protect yourself in however and whatever way that is transpiring it's about people how they look at you and how you respond to certain situations okay so what is coming up here is that Jupiter 
is here some luck is going to be coming up especially when it comes on to your financial stability um, I'm seeing that because um, if you have a business or um, if you have a business I'm seeing um, positive unexpected luck it's as if people are going to be finding who you are finding your business I'm seeing a friend is going to be pushing you out in the world and helping you so um, however and whatever is happening I'm seeing that people are going to be having a different perception of you and especially um, if you're someone who is a public figure and that sort of a thing I'm seeing um, a friend helping you so, so there's some luck with how people are seeing you whether from a work point of view or um, from uh, your career or business if you are someone who is a public figure um, this is um, really looking good and I'm seeing a friend is going to be helping you so like as if you're a public figure I'm seeing a friend is going to be helping you're going to be having luck with people things and everything around you the surrounding and the issues and situations. so um, for you air sign Jupiter is in um, the house the third house of perception so if you're doing anything to do with the public connection networking it's going to be very very good it's going to be the perfect timing for you guys okay um and remember you know if you want to know what's going to happen for you because this is a general reading always ask for um a reading from us okay so we are at the fourth house and the fourth house has to do with family whatever the issue is the situation is the fourth house has to do with family now whatever is transpiring in the fourth house I'm seeing some of you Gemini um, with a situation your family is going to be helping you out of a situation okay so um, you Gemini especially because you're standing strong family is going to be supporting you and protect you from a very deceptive thing that has transpired with you okay so whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring I'm seeing um, a Gemini out there or you Gemini's whatever family is going to be supporting you in this full moon and to know how this is going to affect you it's going to have, um, protect you um, your family is going to step in and protect you from a deceptive person now this person could be a girlfriend a friend or someone that you were um, that you're in a relationship with that has done you some um, injustice but whoever this person is and I'm going to check out whoever this person is for the rest of you um, I'm seeing easy going with the family easy going with a family but for the Gemini's definitely your family is going to be standing up and protecting you from a real deceptive situation okay so um, Gemini's could be um, if you have Gemini's in your family they could be protecting you from a deceptive situation okay so the snake the whenever the whatever the, the um, snake comes up is from an organization and lies and deception okay and it's a karmatic thing so this is so good because you are all your sign and if once there is a situation that you're dealing with an organization whether um, people lies and people lie and this and try to deceive you and whatever the in the situation is a Gemini and if you are a Gemini your family for the Gemini's the family is going to be helping you out but for the rest of the people the Gemini's are going to be stepping in and helping you out to balance out a situation and it has to do with the organization lies and deceptiveness and things that has transpired it's a karmatic situation there they are going to be helping you out and some of you could be getting some really positive return um, by the Gemini's okay so go check out use the link and go check out the extended reading the Gemini's every everyone has their own reading the Aquarians the Gemini's and the Libras you all have your your own readings use the link below and go check out your on-demand readings okay all right let's move forward and get with the program let's move forward and get with the program so we're at the five house and at the fifth house what is happening is that there's an healing 
now this fifth house is the house of passion whatever that was happening whatever that was transpiring I'm seeing that some of you are seeing exactly what was transpiring and you know your heart goes out because um, there could be something that has happened to a friend and this is someone who has really been there for you because this is a fifth house of friendship passion and you know things and situation that you enjoy and whatever is happening I'm seeing a healing coming up because if there was some difference between you and a friend a healing is definitely definitely coming up so whatever that was transpiring between you and um, a friend and this is a very good person because that person it could is the house of the Leo and whatever that was transpiring I'm seeing an healing that is coming in and I'm seeing you standing up because you saw what has transpired to this person and you're realizing what has transpired to this person I am seeing you really really standing up for injustice and equality and what has happened and what has transpired by standing up for injustice and equality I'm seeing a lot coming at you because you're not um, whoever this person is and whatever that was happening a healing is coming in between you and someone because you're seeing the truth now this could be between you and a Pisces and you're seeing the truth of what has happened and transpired and you know you're asking for forgiveness and you're going to be having some luck okay as we move forward and we're looking at the six house the house the six house is the house of career the six house is the house of the craft what you do um, how you survive what is there some unexpected breakthroughs so let's say um, that you um, was investigating what was um, inventing something and you know you ask for help um, for investment and that sort of a thing it's definitely definitely going to be coming true whatever it was and whatever investment whatever financial support you want and back it if, it's definitely going to be coming true if you have developed something invent something I'm seeing that someone is going to be seeing your work and it's going to be helping you to make um, to bake so unexpectedly is as if someone saw your work okay it could yeah unexpectedly someone saw your work unexpectedly something is going to be coming out some of you you're going to be finding out that uh, um, you were on the investigation and um, definitely some of you are going to be finding out that you were on the investigation but and that you know people have put listening devices on your telephone and in your house it could be that you find out that your own partner um, is connected to criminal organization so it's it's kind of weird this is what I'm getting for you guys I don't know what is transpiring in your world but it's kind of weird so check your phone maybe someone is is putting device on your telephone your internet whatever is going on be aware because whatever this comes up it's always about the crackdown of some deceptive thing and it has to do with networking internet um, telephone that sort of a thing okay but what I'm seeing it could be in the house but it's either you're going to be finding this out and it's, it, it could be about a house some of you have a situation with a house and I think you're going to be stepping back from this house and said it's okay um, because you found out that uh, um, let's say that you bought you were in a uh, you were in a marriage and uh, whatever happened and whatever transpire you were in a marriage and whatever happened and whatever transpire about a house I'm seeing you stepping back and said no let he or she have the house because what has transpired is you know bad okay all right so there we go this number seven number seven is the house of balance it is the house of deliverance and balance so liberals look at what is happening in your house so you liberals are going to be having a situation with family um this is really you liberals are going to be having a situation with family um you if you're married to a cancer i'm seeing a cancer coming in and helping you out i'm seeing news coming in and this news could be over a house it's no secrets it's nothing i'm seeing 
if you were wanted to buy a house or a new job I'm seeing some news coming in so some of you were waiting on news about the house or a new job or a business you're going to be having help help is going to be coming in I am seeing that you and a cancer could be connecting so let's say that you Libras wanted um, to network you're going to be networking with the cancer and the six is a Taurus so I and a Taurus could be helping you out at work also okay a Taurus could be helping you out at work so um whenever these things comes up yeah a Taurus could be helping you out at work and some of you could be receiving a message from a Taurus or a cancer okay some of you are going to be receiving a message from a Taurus or a cancer but I'm not seeing any negativity um, around this message okay there is no negativity I'm seeing it is a message of help is going to be coming from you and it could be from a cancer okay but help um, you could be finding out that also a cancer you're going to be balancing out something what a cancer have done to you okay oh my god this reading is going to be longer so all right so let's go in there the eight house what's happening in the eight house it's the house of intimacy it's the house of sex and a lot of you are going to be connecting um, with a Virgo with a Virgo a lot of you is going to be connecting with a Virgo now whatever is happening between you and this Virgo the sex is going to be good okay and um, some of you um, who um, are in a relationship with a Virgo I'm seeing someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius is about to connect with you with a message okay now in the intimacy whoever this Virgo is some of you could be having some real passionate sex with this Virgo now um, some of you could find out that this Virgo, Virgo is seen a scorpion and your mom could be letting you in on this message okay if your mom is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius she could be letting you on this message so there is someone who you're intimately um, involved with where um, you know if it's a Virgo or whoever this person is you're gonna be finding out that there could be in a relationship with someone else okay and I think a mom or an older person who is like a mother figure is going to let you know this alrighty so let's um, move forward and we look at the ninth house now remember what the ninth house is because the ninth house is all about uh, international anything that has to do international abroad that sort of a thing okay now it's all about adventure it's all about education it's customer you know whatever but what is happening and whatever is happening um, whatever is happening with anything that has to do with business foreign um, international something I, I listen to your intuition because your intuition is right about this listen to your intuition because your international is right about this and this is the energy of the ninth house whatever is happening um, with study international study international business whatever is happening listen to your own intuition because you're going to be finding out that you were right about something you're going to be finding out that you were right about something now let's say um, that you feel as if uh, someone is uh, taken from your business or you have a, a, like a, um, a feeling as if uh, there is some um, some secret if you have a book um, be aware of what it is time to publish a book they're saying for you guys it is time to publish a book I'm seeing some of you working on a book or a series um, a television series or a, a play a part just keep going at it just keep going at it okay some of you um, someone is going to be coming in or someone who is a Taurus uh, um, is going to be connecting with you emotional and this is going to be good okay because this Taurus is um, you can um, really talk to the Taurus and tell the Taurus what is happening I'm seeing the Taurus um, really helping you whoever is working on a book or anything with literature to be published it is a good time to go publish it okay it is a good time to go publish it is that they're saying 
it is the right time to go publish it all right the 10th house is the house of repetition it's a it's about your career it's about responsibility it's about achievement it's about fame it's about standing up it's about the authority figure legend possible and you know what is repetition now um, when we look at this um, I am seeing that uh, an Aries try to ruin your repetition and Aries try to ruin your repetition but guess what bam 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 because this is the 10th house and it's the house of the Capricorn okay now whoever this Aries is try to ruin your repetition your reputation and what is going to be happening and transpiring a Capricorn is gonna cut this person down okay so um, whoever this Aries is and this person that is trying to ruin your repetition a Capricorn is going to cut this person down okay trust me a Capricorn has your back whoever you are in this ten house of your repetition um trust me a capricorn has their back and this capricorn is going to take down this aries because one thing capricorn people don't like when people mess with their friends okay so a capricorn have your back whoever you are out there and you have a friend that is a capricorn they have your back because they're going to be um healing your repetition okay they can either work for you or work against you so um but i'm seeing that the capricorns are going to help you to remove an aries to heal your reputation now ooh, 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 ooh. okay um alrighty so I'm seeing um, children some of you are coming to the edge with children you need to be uh, bring some discipline in your home okay so I'm seeing people who have children you're coming to the edge which is your house so you Aquarians are having some issues you Aquarians your house is going to be shaken up um, you need to have a new start Saturn is in your house Aquarian go check out the extended reading Saturn is in your house Aquarian go check out the extended reading because when Saturn sits in your house Aquarians may God help you Aquarians again may God help you because what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpiring is that Saturn is coming to shake you up so if you have um, some of you are at the edge with kids some of you are at the edge with a new beginning some of you are at the edge with your partner because your partner came up so your house the 11th house is your house Aquarian and Saturn is there and it has to do with especially the men are going to be feeling this so you men your house the 11th house is the house of the Sagittarius and um, Aquarians Aquarians you're going to be really feeling this full moon okay the Aquarians are really going to be receiving a shake-up just about every one of you Aquarian Gemini's and Aquarian Gemini's and Nibran just about every one of you but there is going to be a real shake-up that is going to be going on okay there is going to be a real shake-up that is going to be going on so you gotta be aware of this a real shake-up is coming up for you guys so you gotta be aware of this okay alrighty all right so we are at the 12 hours and there is some luck in the 12 hours there's definitely the 12 hours is surrendering okay and in the 12 hours whenever we surrender is whenever we let go of something that no longer serves us it's a house where we forgive and let go forgiveness is the key whenever the energy of the 12 hours come up forgiveness is the key and here it is in the 12 hours that you are going to be surrendering forgiving someone or something that has transpired forgiveness is the key and this is going to be working in your favor so whoever is letting go and forgiving and telling the truth clearing your karma this is going to be good because it's going to be bringing some unexpected blessings and um, um, long-term financial stability okay so um, whatever that has happened whatever that has transpired it is definitely definitely is going to be bringing in some long-term 
stability okay whatever that has been happening whatever that has been transpiring it's definitely definitely going to be bringing in some long-term stability um, unexpected unexpectedly okay so this is wonderful so again I'm gonna try and figure out how I'm going to do this um, so um, for um, for each and every um, sign I'm going to do a mini 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 <laughs> um, um, you can always use the link below I'm gonna try and figure out whether I'm not I'm going to do a little mini mini readings for you guys at the end of this video so you have the um, Sun and moon sign people I'm gonna do that so if you this video does a hand here I'm gonna show and put um, exactly um, the Sun sign and the moon sign people um, which I'm thinking it is better because some people don't know if they were born in the evening or in the day but I'm still going to put it at the end of this video I will think about what I'm gonna do next month because next month I think I'll just do mini readings for the um, uh, mini readings for you guys okay all right so um, I want to say thank you and I am saying namaste please like share these videos share 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 ladies and gentlemen share 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 all right namaste